if you're quiet, the master won't see you or hear you. We can sneak in and watch him work. Welcome miniature fans, today we have The Beholder Zombie by Wizkids Games. This is from their D&D line, Dungeons and Dragons of course, and this is the infamous Beholder miniature, but this is the zombie version. Um, so what we're going to do today is I will paint this miniature up to a uh, standard as it is on the back of the box, and then what I'll do is I'll go one step further and paint it to a bit of a high quality tabletop standard just a little bit higher than what we can see on this packaging and that way you'll be able to learn how to paint your miniatures and as you progress you'll be able to become better and work to a higher tabletop standard okay so this is the miniature close up right, so I've stuck it to the base using some liquid super glue it works perfect for sticking your miniatures to the bases now also, uh, the miniatures come pre-primed with a Vileco primer. So what I do is I just check around the miniature for any mold lines or any parts of flashing that are showing, and I can file them off with a little file. And I use some surface primer from Vileco to recover any patches once I've removed those uh, those parts that are needs removing from the miniature. Now this one doesn't seem to be so bad. I will check the other ones over as well but um, I think we're good to go. Okay, so let's get some paint on these miniatures. The first color we're going for is Chocolate Brown by Vileco. And I shall be covering the whole miniatures with the Chocolate Brown, apart from the base. I'm gonna leave the base as that is, but every part of the miniature will be given this color. Okay, so we've got a nice brown onto our beholder. What we're going to do now is I've got a lighter brown and we're going to do some dry brushing. Uh, so what we do with the dry brushing, we just go into the brown and we take off the excess from our brush and we just go over the whole miniature. Super simple. Now the reason we do the dry brushing now is because if we make a mess and go over parts of the miniature um, that um, we've already painted it doesn't matter because we are going over that part again um, with the different colors so always get your dry brushing done first before you start adding the details to your mini so as you can see this is um, a lighter brown but it's given a lovely little effect going over the whole miniature And once this is on and we've done the rest we just add a nice little ink wash to this and that blends all this dry brushing together and it works really well simple as that let's go over the whole mini like so Perfect. So I'll do that with the rest of my miniatures. And then I'll come back and show you the next stage. Our beholder zombies are already starting to look fantastic. So let's go and paint in all the teeth now. We've got some green brown by Vileco. This is like a kind of a zombie colour. So it's a great mouldy looking colour for these teeth. So we're just going to go straight over the teeth and all that are protruding from the actual beholder and all the teeth in the mouth. You might need a couple of coats, um, but this is going on very well.
So we just go through all the teeth, just like so. Doesn't take long. I'm going as fast as I can because it's on film, so I'm just giving you an idea of what we do with the paint. Like so. That's all your teeth done. So we do that to all our beholders. And I'll come back when they're done. For the eyes, I'm using some Silver Grey by Vallejo. And I'm just on my second coat. Um, and I'm just making sure that there's no brown coming through from behind the colour. So I'm just doing all the eyes on all the stalks and the main large eye in this colour. So this is the second coat on his eye now. Like so. Once all these have dried, I will show you what's next. Um, we need to put some ink washes on the miniature next. Uh, we'll go for a brown ink wash and I'll show you that once these eyes have dried. Okay, let's move on to the eyes. So what we got is some nice brown ink wash. And what you need is some little cotton buds. And all we do to give a really nice effect, and because we're trying to get it so it's a zombie eye, um, which means it's going to be clouded over, um, thinking of like a dead eye. Um, so we use this brown ink wash first, and we just go over the eye of the brown ink wash. Let that ink wash pull into the back of the eye. And then what we do is we go and take that excess ink off the front of the eye using a cotton bud like so and I'll show you again just cover the whole eye in ink wash and all we're doing is removing the ink wash from the top of the eye so that white comes through. Perfect. And this should be the final result once you've done all those eyes and taken away the ink wash. I'll give you a closer example. So I'll do this with all my beholders and then all we need to do is add a little um, pupil to those beholders and these will be finished. For the last part of the eyes I used some sky grey which is a very light grey and I've put that as a tiny little circle on each eye and I've kept it as light as possible because you want to keep the eyes looking like they're dead like someone's died and it's all glazed over so you can just about see that color coming through and the last thing we do then is uh, we use the white so I got some uh, Vileco white and all we do is we just add a dash of white to the eyes like so and because it's ultra bright it will show up well and we just do this on each eye, just a tiny dot, like so, and that gives a nice reflection. There you go, see it in the light better, so, just like so. So all we need to do now is, once I've finished all these eyes, I will be covering the whole miniature in satin varnish. This is the Vallejo satin acrylic varnish. So each miniature will all be given. A nice satin finish and that'll be all there is to these miniatures this is a perfect way to get to a nice tabletop standard for your gaming table now what I'll do is I'll go a bit further now and I'm going to add some gravel and flocking 
to each base. Um, and I'll come back once these miniatures are completed and we'll see the finished miniature. So here we have the finished zombie beholders or beholder zombies, whichever you prefer. This is a fantastic little miniature. As you can see, I've added that uh, satin varnish and I have finished all those bases. With the bases, I've just added some more rocks to the bases just to fill them up. And then I've given them some dry brushes with some greens and some bleached bone effects. So there we are. This is your Beholder Zombie. Absolutely fantastic. I hope you're enjoying these little videos I'm doing. If you are enjoying them, then please hit that sub button. If you want to support the channel, then please become my patron. All patrons are added to the end credits of all my videos. So, until next time. Goodbye, my fellow rats. Sleep well. Dream of evil. Pink brushes. <laughs>